All right, folks, today's Saturday. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, and I just wanted to get some things in order uh, for this car today, today's plan. I think I set a little goal today of at least get the floor cut out. Uh, probably jack it up, use the plasma underneath to get the big pieces out, and then probably put the wheels back on and roll it around to work, work around the floor braces. So I want to get that cut out, and I want to snatch this front clip off fenders and hood uh, shouldn't take long for that that's today's goal I don't think we're gonna be welding anything in I think cutting it out might take a little longer than expected but uh, that's that's the plan like I say I got the I got those rear floors right there which I'm not even sure I'm gonna need but we'll see I bought them because they're all on back order and I wanted to have them if I needed them also have the full floor pan over here been parked here waiting so I'm going to get that out, get it on some stands, see what we're working with. On uh, Friday, I did snatch the exhaust out of there. I was able to get it out in one piece. This exhaust is brand new. Um, previous owner got this done for some reason, and uh, it has like two miles on it. So I actually have a buyer lined up for that. Hopefully it comes through tomorrow and buy and get picks this up out the way. It's, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm going to go a different route, and I think I would need to... Uh, you, I would need to cut this off and, and go with a different collector anyways. Um, but he has a stock 350 with some ram horns. So it should bolt right on on this 59 convertible. It's going to be a nice car. So kind of just fell in place on that. Good deal. Gave him a good price. Hopefully it comes tomorrow. So waiting on the crew to get here. I'm going to get some things in order. And I'll bring you guys back once we start cutting. So we're about to drop the gas tank, but it's got a drain plug. So we're just gonna drain the tank. I think we're still gonna take it down though. I wonder if that was, that had to be, that wasn't put there, that they made that yeah, with a right. tank. I've never I've seen never it. I've never seen the gas tank with a plug in it. Maybe it's a 59, thing, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this gas in the Lincoln, because it's $3 a gallon. But uh, so far, that's all we've done, and we've got some braces on it. So we're going to drop the gas tank before we use the plasma, and then uh, start cutting. Moving right along. I think we've only been at it an hour. Got the three in one? Yeah. Almost don't need the spot cutter, huh? Almost, yep. Yeah. You just drill right through the whole thing. Yep. What a bucket. <laughs> Man. Reusing those. That's what we cut out. A mangled mess. It had about five gallons of gas in the gas tank. So I'm reusing the gas. Piece came out? That thing works good, man. Yeah. Not bad for Chinese shit. You know what you're doing over there? Yeah, I'm doing a follow up here and here. 
You done this before? Huh? You done this before? Not this. This is new. It worked really well right here. Spot. It's a uh, spot weld. Yeah, but you cutter. gotta drill a hole first to get the pin in there. A little pilot hole. Yeah. And the little pack came with like 14 of those, 14 or 15 of those. Those. It's basically a mini hole saw. Yeah. You don't have to cut all the way through. So overall, the front, the front brace all the way across is real solid. The rear brace all the way across is solid. We had to cut one middle brace off completely. Yeah, these two sorry. braces were bad. This one's really nice. We're yet to see those, but it looks like they're gonna be nice. Um, this one's really good. This one's kind of questionable. But we're gonna clean it up a little more and see what we got. We still need to cut these off. So I don't think we're even going to mess with the rear floors. No, that thing is solid. There's man. no point. That thing is real solid. Okay. I'm surprised they could still have some ducks in. Look. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's weird how this car is, man. Like, you would think that that would be shot, but that's good in the lower quarter panel. Shot. You know it's what I mean? It's solid, man. Yeah. So we're yanking off the hood and fenders also, so that was part of the goal was to get the front clip off, which that's that's easy. Alright, so bring you guys back once we clean this up. What'd you say, Bobby? That was an easy word. So we got the floor out in uh, a number of pieces. So overall, the, the back floor is good. It doesn't need to be replaced. It's really solid. We had to cut the middle, uh, passenger middle body mount or floor brace, but I already ordered that. And the rear braces, which we're gonna have to work on something for that. And a passenger front brace is needed, but the center brace is good. Driver brace is really good. This middle brace, driver's side is good, and the rear braces are good. And we got the front clip off. The wheel wells are pretty good. Down here, that's pretty good. Firewall's good. This one needs a little bit of a little patch right there. Maybe clean that up right there and spot on the rocker. So this motor runs and drives. I'm gonna try and get rid of it. If anybody out there wants this local. Uh, and the frame eventually too. So what you think? Anything you wanna add? Long day. It's a long day, man. I mean, we, we accomplished everything we set out to do today. Which was to cut the floor and, and rip the front end off. And we threw the reinforcement on there too. Yeah. I'm not sure that it needs it because it's still on the frame. But just for. I think it's crazy how some pieces, like this <clears throat> left middle one. Hold on one second. Yeah. What was that? I was saying, I think it's crazy how what's left of the braces were rock solid. Yeah, that, that one's rock solid, man. Like man, you can stand on it, yeah, you can every, jump on it. Everything that's left on here is rock solid. And then the ones a foot behind it were just, you can, we kicked them off. And it's crazy how that, that rocker got a hole in it. That's where that brace is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's crazy that the floor was, was bad here and it didn't even touch the tow board or that brace. Yep. Board. And it didn't look as bad on the passenger, and the brace was shot. That's right. That's right. And that tow board is excellent, man. Right? Yeah. Just, just like the back panel. Rock solid. So it's just, just kind of weird, kind of strange. So the trunk tub is good. I mean, the uh, upper deck and the trunk is good. So overall, man, I, there, was no, uh, there was no real surprise other than that front passenger brace. That was today's surprise. And I think those are 100 apiece. You ready? <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm, I'm thirsty. Yeah, so what's next is 
if I get everything needed by next weekend, we could be putting the floor in. Yeah. Put the floor in. That's the claim work. Trim it. It's going to need some trimming. And then after that, I think it can. I think we can do the quarters on a rotisserie now. Yeah. Yeah. Once the floor is ready and loaded, we can put it on the rotisserie. Get the frame out. Hopefully, get the motor out. Yeah. I mean, if, if we're going to put it on the rotisserie, we can leave the engine and everything in there. Just lift it right off. Just get the body off, put it on the rotisserie, and load this outside or wherever you want to store it. Yeah, we we're able to save the rear the rear seat. Both of them pretty good. So that's all for this weekend. I guess we'll bring you guys back next weekend. Stay tuned.